Hi, this is Vicki from Learning Home Volunteers, and I want to wish you and yours a happy holiday season. Not all of us celebrate Christmas, so we thought we could explore some of the seasonal delights uh, found in many countries around the world. This session is four weeks long and is the longest session we put together for our learners, old and young alike. Our next box will not be delivered until the middle of January. But know that we are thinking of you and hoping that you and your family enjoy all the season has to offer. Good food, celebrations, and family gatherings. We will be making four posts, one a week, for the activities included in this session. While you are enjoying time with your family, Learning Home Volunteers will be raising money to allow us to enroll more children in our program. Our donors would love to hear about the changes the program has made with your child and in your home. And if you're interested, we would love to record your message to future donors to let them know how their money that they donate makes a difference. If you're interested, please contact Fernando or Mariana, and we could arrange a session to have you interviewed on film. The things that our donors want to hear is how the program makes a difference, and there's no one that sees those changes more clearly than the parents um, while they're happening to their children. Well, we have four books in this learning session. Our first book is about Gingerbread Boy. It's a fairy tale found in many countries around the world, and it's a tiny little bit scary. Our next book, The Snowman, this is a wordless book and illustrated with just colored pencils. This was later made into a movie that you might have seen. Our next book, The Mitten, is about a mitten that is lost in the forest and is subsequently found by forest creatures. Each has its own take on what the mitten is for. And our last book is another wordless book about a little boy who wakes up to find that it has snowed. Making gingerbread houses is common this time of year when we indulge ourselves in all sorts of special foods as we get together with our family and friends. And sweets seem to always be part of the offering. Children want to get in the action, so children typically help decorate cookies or maybe even structures made out of more stable materials like gingerbread. Gingerbread is halfway between a cookie and a bread, and you can actually build with it. The normal process would be to assemble the house using icing and then decorate it with candy. You can imagine what a hit that is with the little ones. However, the process is a little bit messy and rarely tastes as good as it looks. So we're going to make our gingerbread houses out of cardboard. In cardboard, we have cut out three different shapes. Each child got a shape, um, but you can certainly cut out more out of cardboard with your house. We've included pom-poms, stickers, paint at your house. You've got construction paper, glue, string maybe, crayons, markers. We're so excited to see what your learners design. So please post your gingerbread houses. Our volunteers who cut all that cardboard would be excited to see those results. After listening to the gingerbread boys story, we thought you might want to create some of your own gingerbread boys or girls. I don't know what your learner thinks they should look like, and for all we know, you may want to build a whole family of gingerbread people. So in your bag, mark number two, there are a number of blank gingerbread silhouettes. You can create a boy or a girl, maybe they're happy or sad or even angry. Who knows? Your child knows. This is activity number three. To play this game, you're going to need your dice and some tokens. Each player rolls the dice and advances on the candy pan path until the end. The game is over when everyone makes it to the end. This is activity number four and is another I Spy activity. Uh, the idea of this game is to find all the items at the bottom of the page. The blue arrow in the number of strings, which is in um, the picture, number 11 says that there are 11 of those little strings in the i spy thing and in them there are eight calendars that you need to find well that's all for this week uh, i'll be back next week 
same with Mariana, and uh, we'll be talking about our next four activities. Thank you.